Okay, guys, let's make this lighter. Oh, hello! Um, we'll do a reading for Capricorn for November. And tell you what, thank you to all the people who support me. Um, you're the only reason I fucking get on here and keep, keep fucking, keep busy on here. <laughs> Otherwise, there's really no point. But, um, if you like my readings, if you want to help Rosie out, go to my channel. This is, this is the hard part that most people can't be bothered. Just hit that like. I know it's heavy. I know your hand is so heavy, you know? And you're like, I don't want that and you get the satisfaction of... What? Uh, knowing that I like them? No. Hit that like. Don't be greedy. And then subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave a comment. Because that will help my YouTube channel. And then, and then Rosie will become famous. When I'm famous, you guys will be like, I helped her. I helped her get there. What do we got for Capricorn? E que paso para Capricorn in November? Uh -huh. All right. You got the Eight of Cups, Capricorn. You got, so you either you're, you're, uh, <laughs> well, this kid just sent me uh, a video of this, like, fat girl on a pole. <laughs> like, she fucking, like, fell. I was like, are you making fun of my amateur pole moves, right? Like, Anyway, just send me a message. Like, don't... Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not... First of all, I'm not trying to be sexy like this girl. I don't try to be sexy. If I was sexy, I'd fucking have grown men crying on my door. I want less grown men crying on my doorstep. How's that? And you know what else? I don't try to be sexy. I don't wear high heels. I wear a practical shoe. I'm not going to be the asshole who looks like a wounded antelope. Okay. Again, I can't read that because I'm doing a reading. So, Capricorn, you got the eight of cops. Look at you. You're like fucking Willow Off Good. Do you know what I mean? In the 80s, we used to say midgets, but that's not cool anymore. But do, do, do. I, I just used to think they were like these magical people, you know? You could be leaving something, but here's the thing. I actually think you're going towards some, someone, Capricorn. Right? I think you're going, I think you're leaving, but I think you're going towards somebody. There was a choice. The lovers is like a choice in love. What's this choice in love that Capricorn is dealing with? Right, let me show you this, so you can see. You got the Queen of Wands. I think he was, like, facing her. Yeah, that's the way it was. You got the Hangman and the High Priestess. So you, Capricorn, were, like, um, in a period of, like, kind of hermiting. I mean, everybody was with COVID, but... It was for a thing. Like, now you fucking know. You know something, Capricorn. In the, in the deep inside, you know. And you're fucking going towards it like Gandalf. That's cool. Kaya! Right? <laughs> um... Oh, I'm totally getting another Willow vibe, but you're obsessed with that movie, Rosie. You could be dealing, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with an Aries, uh, Leo Sagittarius, or you could also be dealing with a water sign, because you got the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. I just think that you didn't know, what, you, didn't, you weren't sure about what you wanted to do about love, Capricorn, but I think you know now. I think you know now, Capricorn. Totally. With this, like, with this emperor, I get the vibe of, like, a conquistador, you know? Like, um... I really do. Men are, like, we're, we're generalizing, but... 
men are like hunters, like conquerors. And this guy, fucking, I think this dude wants to bone a Sagittarius. Look out, Sagittarius! <laughs> Sagittarius, you're coming, run! You're like on the next, do you know what I mean? You're like on the next mountain with your falcon, Sagittarius. With Capricorns gaining speed on you, that's all I gotta say. What else can we say about Capricorn? You could be dealing with a Leo. I see the sun sign here. If not, it's just fucking happiness. And the Ten of Cups, which is the most... Wow, which is the most amount of... Look, Temperance again, Sagittarius again. Wow. You know what's interesting to me is like, you're leaving these Ten of Cups, right? These Eight of Cups behind, and you're going towards your Ten of Cups. What's Ten minus Eight is Two of Cups. This card to me is like a Two of Cups, but it's like a it's like a being whole in yourself, like balance, being balanced and being grounded. All right, what's Capricorn need to know? I got these really corny, like, Cards Against Humanity from, like, Walmart. Super corny. But they they sometimes give me some awesome shit. So what do we got? What do we got for Capricorn in November? Okay, Capricorn. I knew you were fucking kinky. Look at you. Stuffing your underwear with pancakes? Who doesn't do that? Who doesn't do that at brunch? <laughs> Did I ever tell you? I gotta make a card for brunch girls. Let me write that down. I was like fucking uh, at brunch and these girls were talking like they were sitting right next to me. Like in my space. This is before COVID. And this girl's going, you know I just don't date. You know I just don't date. And I'm sitting there and I can't even have a conversation with my, with my man because this girl's fucking dominating with her loud fucking mouth. And, and it's building up inside of me and I have nowhere to go and like I'm in this confined space and I get up to leave and I was like you fucking ruined my brunch do you know what I mean and they were like what that's rude that's rude I said yeah it is rude I said you see how I'm talking like this do you see how you're talking like this so that's my brunch girls story and then I was telling my bands and we were like saying we want to start a band called brunch girls you know Stuff in your underwear with pancakes. That's you at brunch, Capricorn. You're the kinkiest motherfucker there is. We rubbing syrup like high fructose corn syrup on your nipples. <laughs> I hate high fructose corn syrup. I always go for the real thing. Maple syrup could be big butt cheeks filled with poop. Yo, Capricorn, you're constipated. You're just filling yourself with garbage. Don't be eating garbage. May I recommend like Take in some Metamucil. Take some Metamucil. Clean out your body. Don't be holding. Don't be holding like... Don't be hoarding. The other thing people do is that, like, when it comes to diet, in a way, they kind of, like, starve themselves. They starve themselves, and then they go... When they eat, they eat crazy, so their body, like, holds on this. You need to eat constantly, but, like, kind of healthy. You need to eat constantly. Yeah. Garbage? What do we say about eating garbage? Capricorn, you need to get healthier. You have to love yourself. Like, love your body is the temple of your soul, right? So if you put garbage in there, you don't want to fill up your body like a fucking dumpster. Look. Look at this. That's like your healing light and soul. By the way, have you ever heard this? You know, the soul is in the body. I believe that the, the, the body is a temple of the soul. So anything you put in there, any drugs or anything, any fucking dirtbag creeps you let up in there, like that affects your soul. And anybody who does it, who says that, is they don't, they're, they don't believe it. They don't believe in, like, the soul. You know? I mean... Your, your body is like your soul. Like think of the star, right? Think of a star out there. Your job is to keep shining. 
And everything in the world is trying to kill your fucking soul. It's trying to dim your light. People make fun of you or they call you ugly or they, they don't call you back or they ghost you or they treat you like garbage. Well, you know what? That's a reflection of them. But you never let those people hurt you. But if you let those people into your body, it's like they come in and they fucking smear shit on the walls. They like come to your temple without an offering. Like you don't bring flowers. Like people have to bring something. Be wary of people who like come... Like, say you're having a dinner party. Those people who show up with nothing? No. You need to get rid of people like that, Capricorn. Exactly. An old cat. An old dirty cat with bad breath. Exactly. Giving wedgies to my haters. All right. I'll help you out with that. If you need a little help, I'll come. In. I'll fucking help you out. I'll help you prank your haters. Emotions. Clams. And total, total world domination. Yeah, Capricorn, you're the fucking, you're the shit. You're the shit. You can't let anybody. Okay, I see you going after someone else. You're going after your ultimate happiness, but I'm going to be real. Your ultimate happiness is always you. It's always you. Okay? Capricorn. Capricorn, what did we learn today? Capricorn. You got to be good. Try to go towards a plant-based diet. You don't want to put, like, death in your body. Like, try and cook. Like, let me be real. I learned this from, um, I learned this from this, uh, this, my favorite tower reader is called the Ghetto Nun. And she said, she said that she won't even want to go to a restaurant. Like, say, like, a restaurant where, where, like, the cook is depressed. Like, she doesn't even want that food in your body. Like, she says, like, that's how you get sick. We went to this one restaurant, right? And I look around and everybody at every table looks depressed. And then the waiter's depressed. And I started talking about him, and it's like, talking to him, and he's saying how the world is over, and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I put this depressing food in my body. I will never do that again. I'll never eat at that place. I'll never do that. So for the most part, I try and cook. Ooh, go in beast mode? Capricorn, you got shit to do. You gotta save the world. Yo, pack that clam back in your pants. <laughs> put that clam back in your pants, okay? Take those fucking pancakes out of your underwear because you're going to save the world. Do you know what I mean? Wa wash the sticky off. Wash the sticky off your nips. That's weird. What else we got for pa Capricorn? Not wearing pants. Yo, I told you, you're a pervert, Capricorn. You're a pervert. It's not a bad thing. You just got to be careful what other perverts you let in your body because these people could be... Oh! Slapping my huge belly. Capricorn, don't worry about that. Don't ever look at yourself and say, say anything bad about your body. That's like, that's my, that's my body. Like life is a gift. And then start thinking of yourself that way. Put, you know, start eating more vegetables, drink water. Like try to get to the purest that you can be. And don't ever, ever, ever make fun of yourself. I will call you up. I will call you up on the phone and I will tell you you're beautiful, okay? So give me your number below, Capricorn. The woman I'm going to marry one day. Capricorn, this goes with it. If you're going towards your Ten of Cups and Eight of Cups and the lovers, you know exactly who you want, Capricorn. Or what, you know exactly, let's say this. You know exactly what you want, okay? You may not have found that person, but you know what you want. That's good. And feel already like you have it, Capricorn. Like it's yours. Not like you're coming from a place of lack. Do you know what I mean? This is good, Capricorn. I want to say this is like a positive turn. This is a positive turn, honestly. Oh, uh, what else we got for Capricorn? We'll do the rosy cards. What do we got for Capricorn? I got to make more rosy cards. Heart and soul. You you got a beautiful heart and soul, Capricorn. That's the most important thing. That's what I look for in people. I honestly do. I'm not kidding. That is the most important thing. We're so focused on the body. Like, it's, it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. The body is just like a shell without the soul. So in, the, in, all, the, in all the places where it counts, Capricorn, you are so fucking beautiful. All right? I don't say that to everybody. I don't go around saying people are beautiful if they're not. Trust me. I'll be the first to call someone a chiseled douchebag. 
Capricorn, this thing that you're walking away from, the Eight of Cups, you bet on the wrong horse. You, in, in the past, you invested wisely, but you're not going to make that mistake again. I can tell that, like, you're different. You're different. You sat in a period of, like, you know what? Not for you. you you've been, like, you were at home, like, a little, you know those priests, how they're always whipping themselves in the back? So you decided this is not for me. You bet on the wrong horse before Capricorn. I got my shithole mic card. Okay, this is kind of a funny story. Okay, shithole mic, like as a joke, shit, okay. On the real shithole mic, he's actually a really nice guy. Just one day is a joke. We just started calling him shithole mic behind his back. So like, we're saying something about Mike. And we go, who? I go, who? Shithole mic. And we started laughing. <laughs> and ever since then, we call this guy shithole Mike. But he's actually a really nice guy. But Capricorn, since you got shithole Mike in reverse... This person actually really is a shithole. This person, you bet on the wrong horse, you're never going to do that again. But this person helped you define, like, I don't want that. Thank you. This is how you say to people who hurt you or people who wronged you or people who are genuine shitholes inside. You say, thank you. I learned my fucking lesson. I'm going to pay attention to the red flags. I know I'm never going back to that, and I know exactly what, you, what I want. And because of that, I won't waste another fucking day in the wrong place. Okay, Capricorn? What else? Shit, hold my... He's actually a really nice guy. LeBron James. Boobies. The old man with the rake who lives down the dark and winding road. That sounds like me, right? Like, I live on that road, and I'm like, Who goes there? Like a little hunchback. What else, Capricorn? Yeah, think of these people as gifts. All right, this person's basically gonorrhea. That's who they are. Shake the dust from your feet. It's crazy how it, it's crazy how it um, plays out. Okay, this is from the Bible. All right, I don't, I, I'm not religious. I don't care if people believe in it, but there is something to some of these stories that they've been with mankind for thousands of years. One that we're um, that we all die. And we want to have faith in something bigger. Okay, but for the most part, Jesus was cool. Jesus was like the most Christian out of all of us. Jesus would be the first one, you know, hanging with the hobos. Or like not stoning. A, like if we were about to stone a hooker, Jesus would be like, guys, guys, guys. Do you know what I mean? You're all like, one day it's going to be your soul in judgment. Like, you don't want to throw that stone, trust me, you know? But Jesus was hated in his hometown. Which means, Capricorn, like, you could probably actually really be the shit. Maybe these people tried to treat you like garbage your whole life. The whole point is, of the story, is that Jesus says, Listen, man, they hated me, and I was nice to everybody. I was nice to everybody. I, I killed myself for all of them. Do you know what I mean? And they hated him. But Jesus says, Take a fucking dust off your feet. Like that. Because you don't have to go back there, Capricorn. You don't have to go back there. I actually want to kind of end there, because I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's, uh, like, totally came together, like, this was meant to be. You got Steven Spielberg, Capricorn, E.T., you getting on your ship, like, E.T. came to this place, and E.T. was like, you know what, these humans, not for me, and I want to find one, one of these, because I like to end on a positive, one for Capricorn, please, give me some love for Capricorn. Ooh, that one wanted to come out. Okay. Look at this guy. Number 19. Also the number 10. The number 10, which is change. Which is like a number for change. Uh, you should look up. If you're seeing any numbers, like everywhere you go, look them up. Because it's like the universe. Com it's always communicating with us. Always. These people come into our lives for a reason. But anyway, be grateful for the dirt bags, for the douchebags and the dirt bags because they, they're gonna save you. If you they make you smarter, wiser, stronger, and you never are gonna be dumbed down again, okay? Number ten. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. I agree. I wanna say that like 
when you lose in love, like when you love somebody, right, and your heart took a chance, you didn't lose anything. You know who, you know who loses? The person who's scared, the person who doesn't take a chance. You take a chance, and it's like, oh, good, I know. And then you can move on quicker. Those people can move on quicker. You have a group of people that love and support you. Focus on that. Being grateful. Thank you for my friends. You know? I was going to say Marie. Thank you for my friend Marie. I don't even... Maria! Thank you. Actually, I know Capricorn Maria, and that's why it's coming out, but... Thank you for this. Any act of kindness, say thank you, and the universe will bring you more love. Right? The more lack you feel, like, why isn't my one here yet? Well, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get more of lack in your life, right? Cherish these people, whether a small partner, your family, or your friends. The angels are prompting you to reach out to your loved ones and ensure you, sh you show them love. It is all too easy to become involved with your own life. Ensure you spend time with those who are significant to you. This is a reminder to tell or to show the people in your life that you treasure them. Let them know they matter. Do something that does not need reciprocation. A gift is more genuine when giving without expectation of something in return. Love does not keep score. Oh! Wow. I'm going to write that down. Next to brunch girls. Love does not keep score. So Jesus of them. You're not supposed to get on Instagram with a mega vote. Be like, Look at what I did because it almost takes away your act of kindness. It's like you you did it for the wrong reasons, right? Um, it may be in your nature to keep track of when you have given time, money, or other positives. Genuinely appreciating your loved ones can challenge you to give from your heart. A pair of hands tenderly. <laughs> To me, that looks like a clip, that little oyster shell. A pair of hands tenderly holds an image of a precious time shared between a woman and a child. They appear as if there is nothing of importance in the world other than their shared moment. Notice the drop of dew that holds the world. Let me see this drop of dew. I don't see the drop of dew. Is that the little clam? Look at the mermaids in this lake and the mountains. Capricorn, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, right? I start crying. I do cry over little shit, though. Notice the drop of dew that holds the world. What you have through those you love should be the focus of your world. Focus on love. It looks like you're going exactly to do that. That's really fucking weird. Look at this. Tell me that doesn't look like this person's going to focus on love. Ah? Eh? Yo. And there's that fucking little oyster clit. Look. <laughs> Capricorn, you're beautiful. I don't just go around telling people that. I really have to mean it. And I mean it like in your soul where it counts. All right? Just know that. Okay? Keep loving. Look. Number one biggest fan. All right, listen, we're neighbors, Capricorn. Don't be afraid to stop by, okay? Like my video, share with your Capricorn friends, hit hit like on the YouTube channel, subscribe, share with your friends. Okay, I love you, bye!